All right, welcome to part eight of the Animal Combo Book Project. In this tutorial, we're gonna cover how to light and shade this Animal Combo. We're basically gonna use our merge copy here as a selection tool. So again, I'm gonna control or command click on it to make it into a selection. Once I do that, I can add additional layers or adjustments based on that selection. So I'm gonna click on the uh, new layer icon next to the trash can here. First one I'm gonna do is like a dark shadow based on a color. So I'm gonna use that paint bucket again, and this time I'm gonna hold the Alt key and click on the shadow here, and then I'm gonna double click in here and just take a little bit further. I'm gonna bring it down into the darkness here, um, a little more saturated, and click OK, and then I'm gonna click in here to uh, basically land its own layer. Then I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal to uh, multiply. And then it'll give me kind of a nice dark here. Um, and then I'm going to hit Control D or Command D on the Mac to deselect. And then I'm going to add a mask. So I'm going to add a mask, but I'm going to hide this entire image because right now it's way too dark. So watch what happens when I click on here. If I click on here with the mask, it's just going to create an empty mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, the Alt key and click on that mask, and it will hide everything. Now I could have uh, just clicked on that mask, and then immediately in the properties palette just click the invert and it would have done the same thing so I was just saving a step by clicking the alt or option key on the mask icon uh, with this mask selected again not the the image but the actual mask I'm going to paint in some shadows here so I'm going to switch to my paintbrush tool I have a soft brush selected I have the opacity around 40 percent and I'm just using a mouse so this isn't going to be perfect it's better with a stylus but I just want to demonstrate um, how cool this is you know I uh, basically even with a mouse I can start to paint in you know literally some shadow color in here and it's gonna have a little bit of that red to it and it's not gonna go out here you notice because the image is basically the selection here which is the animal itself the animal combo so I can add some darkness in there um, a little bit more here and that's just a coloring so it's not a true darkness but it gives me a little bit of sort of color information here I could add a little shadow of color underneath the chin there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the levels adjustment so I'm actually gonna click back on um, the animal combo group here click on the adjustment palette and I'm going to choose the levels adjustment which is the second icon on the top here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it by using the clipping mask icon here and this is the same as if you hold the alt or option between the two layers you can clip or unclip uh, masks and adjustments and layers so this adjustment now is only affecting this uh, image here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the uh, shadows in here I'm going to grab the midtones and kind of just crank it up quite a bit so it's getting pretty dark there if I crank up the blacks I could also do that but it, when I notice when it happens it really burns the image so I'm actually gonna leave that one alone and just kind of bring the midtones over and that'll darken enough and then um, then I just have to fill in this mask so again click on the mask and hit invert then again with this mask selected if I switch to my brush tool with soft with white uh, with low opacity it's set to 40 percent I can start to paint in here and notice how those shadows are getting a little bit deeper and darker so they're no longer having that color information, but they're having some of that um, actual, you know, shadow quality, which is really nice. And so you can see here I am just doing it with a mouse, but if I have a stylus, I have a little bit more control. And how cool that is, right? Well, you can do that with not only with shadow layers, but you can also do that with light layers. So that would be the next step. So I can control click again. I can control click this thumbnail here of this or the, the merged copy. It's the same thing. And I'm going to add a new layer. This time, I'm going to um, switch to my paint bucket tool using the hotkey G. G is the hotkey, and I'm going to hold the Alt key or Option key and select the blue of the sky here. And I'm going to click in here um, in the animal. And then I'm going to hit Control D to deselect. Again, this is on its own layer. I'm going to change the blend mode to, I think this one I'm going to set to overlay. Well, it seems pretty nice. Uh, I could set to screen, but overlay is a little more subtle. And then I'm going to again fill it in with a mask holding the Alt or Option key by clicking the mask icon. Then I can switch back to my brush and paint away up here and check that out. I give it little highlights that are kind of bluish. So now it's like it's, you know, some of that sky is reflecting into the animal. Well, if you look here, there's a lot of desert, right? So let's add another light layer for the desert. So I'm going to add a new layer here. And again, Control or Command click on the thumbnail. Uh, use paint bucket. This time I'm going to hold the alt key and select the brightest part of the sand and just click in here. This time I'll change the blend mode to screen so it's real bright. And then um, control D, command D to deselect. And then hold alt or option again on the mask to make it a filled mask. Then again switch back to brush. And now I can paint in here and maybe I can have some, 
you know, dust uh, of the light sort of hitting across here from the sandy uh, sort of area. So I can have some of that light sort of shine through too. Finally, I can add another level adjustment. So this time I'm going to click on this level, or actually the, um, the layer here, uh, the original animal combo, go back to adjustments and click on the levels adjustment. And this time it's automatically clipped because it's right below the other one which is clipped, which is good. And then I'm just going to crank up the light. So I'm going to kind of bring that up here. And um, what I'm looking for is not to get too saturated, but to get it kind of a, a you know, we want to blow out the highlights, but we want to exaggerate a little bit. So about there, it looks pretty good. And then with this mask selected, I can hit the invert button and in the properties palette. With this mask selected again with white as a foreground color, I'm going to paint in and just add some little bit of bloom effect here in the, the highlights. And I can do that wherever I want, want on here, but I'm thinking like up on the back would be really good. Uh, maybe on the bottom of the feet here there where there are more lights hitting and check out that so look at that looks pretty cool and again with more finessing we could definitely go a lot further with the shading I could um, anywhere on any these layers so I could come back to this layer here and add you know more darker shadow maybe on the wing back there um, anywhere you want to add that to you can you can come back and adjust those because we have the mass situation set up so it's pretty awesome I'll show a before and after. I'm going to make a merge copy here by Control Shift Option E, and then I'll make a copy with that. And then I'm going to turn off these colors and the adjustments, so we can see how everything looks different. I'm going to turn off this guy, and so now you can see a before and after. So tremendous shading going on. Again, some of it's a little bit too much in certain areas. I would want to finesse that, especially with a, a stylus. But you can clearly see the difference between light and day in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.